Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new vlog. Can you hear the bird song that is going on behind me right now? Behind you. In front of me. That to me is a sign that spring is here, spring is coming. It might be a little bit grey, but the birds are twittering away and it's just gorgeous. That's actually the sound that I woke up to this morning and it is pure bliss, pure bliss. And I'm exceptionally excited about the next 24 hours because I'm going to be bringing you along on the most gorgeous overnight stay. I'm heading to one of my all-time favourite places today with one of my all-time favourite brands. I'm heading to Time and I know I've taken you there before but this is going to be a really exceptional trip. Um, it's obviously under an hour drive for me so I'm going to be driving myself there this morning. We've got the most gorgeous kind of itinerary planned, everything, literally my dream itinerary. Everything from garden walks, lovely meals, facials, Pilates, and some of my favourite people are going to be there as well. So it's just going to be the most gorgeous um, trip and I can't wait to bring you along because it really is just a feast for the eyes there. So I'm starting off with some lovely hydrating skincare. <clears throat> that's going to set me up with a radiant complexion for the day ahead. Kicking things off with, I've already done my cleansing, my toning, my essence, which is a new part of my routine actually, um, because I actually found that I had a few different essences in my cupboard and I kept forgetting to in incorporate them into my routine. Um, and I thought I really need to start using these. <laughs> And I'm really, really loving how they make my skin feel. It's like a, a hit of hydration and um, very calming for my skin as well. So I've been loving using my Time Retreat Essence from Yves Lom, which I'll show you later. This is Yves Lom's Intense Hydration Serum. You can guess <laughs> what this does for the skin by the name. Packed with gorgeous ingredients to intensely hydrate the skin, give you the most gorgeous glow, long-lasting hydration, which is the ultimate in um, really all the benefits for your skin and most importantly, long-term healthy aging. Speaking of which, healthy aging. This is brand new from Eve Lom. It is new to their Time Retreat collection and it's their Time Retreat Daily Rejuvenating Cream. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen me raving about this on my Instagram stories. I've got my mum hooked on this. I've got a jar of this to give to Charlie's mum. My friends are asking me about this. This is... I, I don't think I have been this excited about a moisturiser in a very, very long time. So, because it's part of the Time Retreat uh, collection from Eve Lom, it does have that focus on healthy ageing. But it's an incredibly gentle and versatile moisturiser that you can use morning and evening. So I do use this as part of my evening skincare routine. It's got their Time Retreat Complex in it, which actually includes, I hope I pronounce this right, liposome, liposome, encapsulated retinol. And we all know that retinol is fantastic for um, anti or healthy aging benefits for the skin, but it's gentle enough that means you can actually use it within your morning skincare routine too. If you like your morning skincare, and why wouldn't you, to be ultra, pampering and luxurious. This has got the most gorgeous thickness and consistency and yet you know those days when you just don't have time to hang around, you want to get your moisturiser on, you want to get your SPF on, then you want to carry on with your day. This is perfect because it's also lightweight enough that it sinks in really really quickly. It's perfect with the hydration serum, but it's also mega hydrating by itself. Another of the incredible ingredients within this is called epidermosil, and that is an advanced form of hyaluronic acid. So it's going deep into the skin to deliver that hydration from within, which gives you hydrated and therefore glowing skin for hours and hours after application. Um, my skin already feels like it's drunk this in and is quenched and happy and ready for the next step of my skincare routine. 
And you've also got prebiotic oat kernels in here. The thing that I love about Yves Lom is that they really look to nature, but for ingredients and therefore products that really deliver results, but that are also an absolute luxury to apply. They look luxurious, they feel luxurious on the skin, and they deliver incredible results. So I would say the main benefits of this in the long term are really refining the skin's texture, helping smooth out any wrinkles. So I would say 30s, 40s and older, this is the perfect moisturiser for you. I do take it up towards my eye area, not too close to the eye, but I'm finding that it's really helping softening any little lines that are emerging in those areas. But also, when I think of Yves Lom, I think of radiance and that glow that you get from your skin, and you most certainly get this in both the short and the long term. So as I mentioned, I do use it as part of my evening skincare routine as well. So I'll show you how I incorporate that later on today. And fragrance wise, by the way, it's got Rose Otto extract in it. So if you love your moisturizers, to just have that tiny hint of a gorgeous fragrance, that is subtle, but it's heavenly. When you do catch a little bit of the fragrance, it's just absolute bliss. But very, very excitingly, um, I'm actually going to time with Eve Lom, yay. And so I'm gonna be learning so much more about the new launch and about the brand later on today. So of course I will share all of that with you in today's video. Um, and then yes, tomorrow we've got Pilates, we've got a garden walk. I think we're all gonna go for lunch at the Swan, which is, in Southrop, it's part of the Time group. Oh, by the way, this is my, <laughs> I don't even need to tell you, you guys know that this is my everyday SPF 50 from Yves Lom. I did put some fig tan on my face yesterday and I committed the ultimate error of not washing my hands straight away afterwards. They're not awful, um, but it's not very me <laughs> to have slightly orange, Terry's chocolate orange, palms of my hands. So yeah, so we're heading to the pub for lunch tomorrow. And then on the way home, I'm gonna pop into the Burford Garden Company because for me as I'm filming this, Mother's Day is on Sunday. So I need to get a little something for Lilla. There we go, skincare done. Now I do like to leave these to just sink into my skin for as long as possible, but normally around 15 minutes. Um, so I'm going to go and pop some, I think I'm gonna put some curls in my hair. I haven't done that in a little while. I came down here to film this little bit, by the way, because my suitcase has exploded <laughs> all over the room upstairs, so it's a little bit messy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and do something with my hair, pop a little bit of makeup on, finish packing, and then we'll catch up when we are on the road to time. I can't wait, it's gonna be a fun one. We always think of this as the queen of cleansers. Just take a second to just sit enjoy that amazing, luxurious texture. Hold your hands just slightly in front of your face and do three deep breaths. It's important that it goes on dry, okay, as it is an oil-based cleanser. A little bit on the forehead, some on the cheek area, and then some on the jaw area. And then you just massage in in circular motions. Eve's original lymphatic drainage massage technique. Mm -hmm. Like your index finger and your middle finger, and you just lightly press behind the ear just to start to stimulate the lymph, and then massage gently down to the collarbone area. I press and release three times, and this is amazing for headaches, if anyone gets any tension in the forehead, and then in almost pulses, you then massage down. Press just below the cheekbone area where we also have our lymph nodes, our pressure points. This is really good if you have any puffiness around the cheek area. Press and release three times, and then you gradually go down to the jaw. So really great for sculpting the jawline. Press on. This is called a warm compression, and the heat from the cloth will gently warm up that amazing blend of oils. Any rescue mask fans oh, in yes. here? It's yes. the best mask, isn't it? It's a very creamy. Mm -hmm. it with the, uh, it? Yeah, it's one of my favourites. I combine it with the renewal treatment oil. The moisture mask, a few drops of renewal treatment oil, mix them together, and that's my night cream. That's the only water-based cleanser we have for Reef Lawns. Because the epidermis, okay, that is dead skin cells mainly, it needs to go into the dermis. And actually will go in a safe way into the skin. 
do pop some on the texture is divine my latest favorite i have to say <laughs> um so again a uh, prebiotic um old ferment old kernel ferment which uh we she calls it tap dancing over your face so the throw of the brow and then back down and it's really really relaxing you want to go up and down three times and it's really good for again boosting blood circulation it's great for the nerve endings and the skin and then you do the tapping technique and you go into the front of the brow you go up to the hairline and you go around back to the side of the nose you tap you go back to the ear you go back and forth start at the chin smile to lift the muscle and lift your chin up and then start at the chin and then firmly tap and then you go back to the ear. Can't forget about Kiss Mix, which was also one of Eve's original formulas. Really, really popular with all of our loyal and long fans. It gives your lips eight hours of nourishment. I'm the So this is very exciting. Donna, what's happening this evening? Can you tell us? No, your channel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, please don't show me. This is not getting cut. I'm going to reveal this okay. online. <laughs> Take I two. I'm posting my first YouTube video. Woo! Let's go. Joseph, like the inspiration. Oh. Like, it's something that I've always wanted to do, but speaking to you when I met you last year, it was just. That Did was I go the... on and on and on about how great YouTube is? <laughs> yes, but also it's just that it's that place where you can just get more information across, right? You can, exactly. Yeah, and you can let people into your lives more. Yes. I think that's the thing. Definitely. So, what can people expect from your channel? Oh my goodness. So, first off, it's going to be quite vloggy, just yes. to let people know who I am, what I'm about, mm -hmm. what I talk about, and then we're going to deep dive. Mm -hmm. We're going to go food shopping so I can do my food shopping, recipes, everything skin, food related. I cannot wait. I don't know. I'm going to be your number one fan every video. You're going to be like, gosh, she's commenting again. <laughs> You're going to be so bored of seeing my name under the videos. And show us your jazzy camera. This is my new gadget. I love Which it. Which isn't actually a gadget, it's actually a very valuable part of my... It's crucial. Thing. It's really great. Does it spin by itself? No, you have just have to double tap and then it just swings. Oh, out. wow! Vlogging Inception. Did Molly Campsy get you onto this? Yes. She's been showing it on her stories and I feel, feel like Considered everyone... Considered influence. Yeah, absolutely. I did actually tag her in the post being yeah. like, Molly, you influenced me. What have you done? But she sold out these little bits. Wow. Do you know what I love about it? Because it's so small. So yeah. I do have that camera. Feels a bit in your face though, doesn't it? Yeah, and then yeah. I had... And then I got another phone thinking I was going to do it like this and I was like, oh no. Mm. But this one is just very... Does it go on that mm. tripod thing? Yes, yeah, so and this is the tripod, so you can stand it up and you can get a longer one for like outfit shot videos. And does it follow you? Yeah, it's trackable. So clever. And the best thing about it is great in low light. This Ooh. is the thing, so you can just track, you can do low light or slow motion, normal video, photos. So and jazzy. then does it go straight on your phone? Or you then have a chip? And yeah, so it's app based. So it's Amazing. So you app, it connects to the DJI and then everything just gets passed down. Sold. That's amazing. Okay, I've just checked into my room at time. Those last clips might have been a little bit no context, um, but as soon as we arrived here at time, we were whisked into an incredible masterclass all about the most iconic Eve Long skincare routine from the cleanser. The cleansing balm was actually the first cleansing balm. Obviously, there are so many on the market now, but it really is the original and the best has so many incredible skin loving ingredients and just an absolute dream to use and then we used the rescue mask we were shown some proper application techniques which i'll go through with you um, when i next do a full skincare routine and of course the new moisturizer which i showed you this morning so we've been really immersed in the brand's iconic products then we have the most gorgeous lunch, just so many of my absolute favorite dishes. And um, the group of people that are here, just such a wonderful group of ladies and gentlemen. And I can't wait to introduce you to more of the gang later. I think you're gonna love everyone that's here. So I've got just half an hour now to uh, kind of settle into the room. And then I have got my facial. So I'm makeup free because obviously we did that little skincare routine 
before lunch and I've got a, an eve long facial down at the spa later which I cannot wait for but I'm just going to hang up a few of my pieces. We're staying as a group in the farmhouse which is such a gorgeous like typical Cotswold house and you might remember Karen who is one of the owners and founders here at Time. she absolutely loves doing the most beautiful botanical paintings and we have got her paintings um, which were actually on the back of menus. We've got them on the wall in our house but we've also got her designs on cushions and other bits of upholstery and I believe she designed the wallpaper in here as well as some of the other soft furnishings but I have to show you this room because it is absolutely beautiful. Most of the rooms have been very recently redone um, and they're all just gorgeous so let me show you around. I just have major deja vu because I've actually got a feeling that the very first time that I came to time I stayed in this room and I think it was with Victor and Rolf. I've got a feeling that Freddie and I have gallivanted around in this room together before. I seem to remember this like bathtub nook setup. I don't know what's in here. Oh it's a wardrobe and how lovely is this paint colour? Absolutely gorgeous. The wallpaper and then just the simplicity of this painting. I thought it might be a pressed flower, but it's a painting. They've got the beautiful pink colour around the mirror. Beautiful tub. Is the tub pink? Yes, it is. And then, oh my gosh. I mean, <laughs> have you ever seen a more beautiful room? This headboard is stunning. This is giving me major inspo for store top two. I will treat this as a research expedition. We have got a full, oh my gosh, I've been spoilt with products. We've got the full Yves Lom skincare routine here, my absolute favorites. They were telling us all about the incredible formulation of the foaming cream cleanser, about how most cream cleansers can be very stripping and leave your skin feeling tight and squeaky clean. But they have made this formula so incredible that it actually leaves your skin even more hydrated than before you started your cleanse which anyone that's used a foaming cleanser before will know is not an easy task. I've got a limited edition version of the Iconic Cleanser here. We've got the Moisture Creme, and what's this? The Renewal Treatment Oil. I'll share with you the evening skincare routine that we've just been told all about downstairs a little bit later. We have got a beautiful, oh my gosh, that is stunning. Look at that. I'm going to have to show you this in daylight. This is the most beautiful colours in a ranunculus. Look at this. Wow. It's like green and raspberry colours. Oh my goodness me. Please ignore the colour of my hand. I'm actually mortified at the state of my fake tan. We've got some bits here from Bertioli, the three-in-one hair and body bar. Look at these cushions. Oh my gosh, I love them. Absolutely beautiful with Karen's time print. And then the little ruffle around the edge. Beautiful headboard. We've got this gorgeous little setup here. What's that behind me? Another stunning um, print that looks like a salvia, I think. Gorgeous. Love the little pink sofa at the end of the bed. That is rather sweet. Oh, we've got something here from the Cotswold guy. I wonder what that's... Oh, I wonder if it's his... Um, I bet that's his sausage roll. Love that. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. It really is all of my favorite local brands. And even my darling cat is here. We've got a honey glazed, ooh, muesli. Oh my goodness me. Gin and strawberry, wowza. Raspberry and chia, that's so funny because I actually saw a chia jam recipe in um, one of my cookbooks recently and I thought I absolutely have to try that. Loads of little snacks, what an absolute treat. We won't be getting peckish on this little stay. Oh my gosh, <laughs> all of these details. We have got an Eve Lom silk eye mask. My little um, reminder about my facial, 315. My timetable, my schedule, fireside chat with actual Eve Lom later. Wow, um, oh, more goodies. I've been totally spoiled, totally, totally spoiled. I remember these, they're amazing. They are the homemade cheese straws. <sighs> so, what a treat it is to be here. I feel like this is, if I could design my absolute dream perfect press stay <laughs> with the most wonderful people, wonderful products, wonderful brand, then this is it. So I'm really, really excited to be here. And 
so happy to be bringing you along as well. So, I think next I've got a little bit of time, as I mentioned, until my facial, and there is a lady here who is doing something wonderful with crystals down in the orchid house by the pool. So, I think we should make that our next stop. Okay, so we're going to create an energy ball. So, we we're born with a certain amount of energy, not really. we can always add more to it. Mm -hmm. But we hear people say your cheese, so your Chinese medicine, like your cheese low, or kind of like. So that's kidney energy, but it's also we have this energy center called we've got the solar plexus, mm -hmm. and then we've also got a dantian, we've got three dantians. So they're like these amazing pools of energy. Not good for dantian, but yeah, yeah. there you go. So we've got three of those in the body, yeah, and they're like these great big reserves of energy, mm -hmm. and they feed all the energy to all the, the meridians and the, the organs within the body. But sometimes we just get a bit stuck. I like with the energy centers, we don't tap into them as much, mm. so we do. Chi actually goes out to all the extremities, which is why when something's hot, cold, we feel it in our fingertips, but we feel energy more through our hands and fingertips. So mm -hmm. we're going to bring the hands together. We're going to rub them really quickly together. And you take a breath. Let the hands come to stop. And you can just let the arms roll back, take a breath. Let the eyes fall closed and very gently just start to pull the hands away from each other. And as you exhale, starting to push that energy back towards the hands, bringing the hands back towards each other. So that is your aura, your chi. So you can start playing with it. And you can use something in Chinese medicine again, some kind of chi ball, or you might call it an energy ball. Because mm -hmm. what you can do is you can expand it. If you're feeling a bit knackered, and you've got a sore point on the body, you can then take that energy and put it back into the body when you need it. So your energy is now on, it's alert, it's like a spotlight, you need to have like a spotlight. The energy of the crystals coming up like waves, your energy is shining down. At that point we're going to scan the table like this, and tables. So I'll show you how to do it and then I'll take you through it. So we're just going to put one hand on the heart centre, the other over the table. All intuition starts in the heart, so you're going to start saying what do I want, what do I need, what do I want, what do I need. And that energy is starting to resonate down the arm. And when you cross over a crystal that is exactly what you need, you can feel a pulse, a trickle, a heat. What do I want? What do I need? What do I want? What do I need? Good. Back. Perfect. Okay, two more for me. Say hi. Yes, please. Good. Well, from one wonderful activity to another, the Eve Long team have just put on the most incredible itinerary for us. I just had a wonderful session with Emma, and we went through a few different crystals, ones which I was drawn to, and what that means, and it was so fascinating. I always come out of things like that, and I'm like, have you done some research? Have you been figuring out what I do, and <laughs> where my mind is at? Because... It was scarily accurate and she's given me some really interesting advice to take forward as well. So um, yeah, really, really interesting. Now I'm in one of the most relaxing places in the world, which is the one of the treatment rooms here at Time. And we are going to be using the full Eve Lom Time Retreat collection for a heavenly facial, which I cannot wait for. I'm going to be snuggling up in this bed. The sunlight is just coming through. How perfect. So I'll leave you rolling so you can see a little glimpse of the treatment and then we'll catch up in an hour or so. That was absolute heaven. I feel like I have just emerged from another planet. <laughs> that was just absolutely one of the most relaxing hours of my entire life. Jojo gave me a facial and I think she used, she used the renewal treatment oil and what she was doing on my neck and shoulders while the moisture mask was doing its magic was something else on my skin feels absolutely amazing. So now it is non-stop today in the best way possible. We've actually got a fireside chat downstairs or in the farmhouse downstairs with actual Eve Long. So I'm really excited to meet Eve. Um, I think she's a fellow gardener <laughs> like I am and um, 
yeah, I'm excited to go down and chat with all the ladies again. I've not got the most battery, so I will film as much as I can and then I'll get you charging while um, I'm getting ready for dinner. But let's go downstairs. I feel like I can't even talk anymore loudly because I'm in such a state of zen. <laughs> My thick down hands. I last spoke to you before our fireside chat with Eve, which was just so incredible to hear from the brand founder. I've since then had a gorgeous bath, washed my hair, had a real chill out. It's been glorious. Gosh, there's so many flowers in this scene. <laughs> I feel like I'm part of the wallpaper. I am a chameleon. So we now have got drinks downstairs and um, dinner, which is going to be really lovely. I've popped on the theme for this evening's dress code was botanical soiree. So I've got this fabulous floral dress, my little um, twisty locky belt and my Ooh, lining, um, pumps, and I've brought with me this adorable little bag. I feel very spring-like. So, without further ado, let's go downstairs and catch up with the wonderful ladies and gentlemen that are here with us um, for drinks and then dinner. Let's go. check in before bed it has been the loveliest evening we had the most scrumptious meal the food here at time is always so so tasty and it's just as i've said a million times it's such an amazing group of people here um i just feel like i'm truly in my element in a place that i love surrounded by amazing people doing the most incredible activities with the most lovely skincare brand i was going to talk through my evening skincare routine but I am so very tired. I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna do it um, and then I'm gonna film a voiceover and I will record that tomorrow when I'm a little bit sharper because I don't think I would be talking much sense right now. But I will start by taking my makeup off with my little, um, what do you call it? I've forgotten what they're called, face halo. And then of course my Eve Lom cleansing balm. This is the limited edition packaging. It's so beautiful with the florals on there. I think they said today one of these is sold every 30 seconds. In fact, you know what, let's just do it. Let's just apply it here because technically you don't need water for this first step. And you don't really even need to use a face halo because the cleansing balm is so fantastic at um, melting down the makeup on your skin. So there's actually a full ritual that you can do. You can scoop it with your finger or with a spatula. And the fragrance of this is so divine that actually what you want to do is warm it up in your hands and take a few deep breaths to really enjoy that fragrance. And then what Eve was saying is about how we've got so many nerve endings in our fingers and it's just so um, important that we actually give back that energy back into our complexion. So using the tips of your fingers to have a really lovely massage technique, a little bit of a little bit of tap dancing she called it. We did a lot more of this in the workshop earlier. Um, and just really being a bit more mindful about the way that you apply your cleanser in the evenings. There's also some lymph nodes or what are they called? Yeah, I think it's lymph nodes um, in this area here, like pressure points. And it's just so relaxing to apply a little bit of pressure here as you enjoy the fragrance from the cleanser. Chin, cheekbones, and then there's a technique where you press down with your three fingers on your forehead. 
and really just enjoy that massage. And then the incredible face cloth that you get with this, that is actually specially created to give you a really wonderful, gentle exfoliation when you're taking off your cleansing balm. So you get the exfoliation, you get the moisturization from the cleansing balm. They've thought of everything to leave you with glowing skin. Okay, I need to go to the bathroom and get my face cloth and get this and all my makeup off my face. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to apply is the Radiance Repair Retinol Serum. Have I got that right? So many R's. Radiance Repair Retinol Serum, or as everyone calls it, the gold one. And this, um, Eve was saying earlier, is just such an iconic product. It's such a fantastic way to really get that healthy aging. It's not a huge, dramatic, harsh set of ingredients that's going to blitz away at your skin. It's all about just giving your skin and love and care and really leaning into um, leaning into aging in a positive way and of course you do have the retinol encapsulated retinol so it's still providing your skin with the hydration that you expect from Eve Long products um, but the retinol in there is going to help with those little fine lines and um, also protect and repair the skin at the same time so I've applied that and I can now go back in with the exact same moisturizer that I used this morning from the Time Retreat collection. Also in the beautiful gold packaging, Daily Rejuvenating Cream, and this also contains the encapsulated retinol, so really important that you don't forget your SPF in the mornings. But this double boost, the Dream Team together, the serum and the night cream, the perfect routine to get those um, healthy aging benefits but still encourage a glowing complexion. Eve was telling us about how you can use all the retinol that you want but you're never really going to get the benefits unless your skin is hydrated which is why having that layer of hydration within these products is so so important and that's why they've been formulated to be so nourishing for the skin so there we go that is my evening skincare routine that i wasn't going to talk through with you but there we go you can actually if you really want to i say that but they did actually say to us during the masterclass earlier that if you want to get that extra bit of hydration, you can finish with a layer of the oil. And I'm a big fan of layering up my skincare. And to be honest, my skin will just drink in whatever you give it. As much water as I drink, my skin is always a little bit dehydrated. So after the moisturizer, I'm using this face oil and this is what they used during our massage earlier. If I ever get a massage at home, I will cover my face in this and my neck. And not only do I get to enjoy the incredible fragrance, but it just makes for the most wonderful oil for um, facial massage as well. You'll have seen me using this one lots at home, but it's a really nice kind of locking it all in layer for your evening skincare routine. So there we go. A full glowing Evlon evening skincare. This bedroom just looks so cute behind me. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get to bed now. I've got my new pajamas on with a cute little scallop detail, such a lovely brand. I'll leave them linked down below, um, as well as obviously all of the skincare that I've been using, and you can use the Josie 20 for the discount. So tomorrow we've got Chloe coming to do Reform Pilates and a sound bath with us, which I'm so excited for. Um, and then I think we've got a garden walk, we've got lunch at the Swan, so it's gonna be a really lovely day. Anyway, I've been chatting to you for 10 minutes, so I'm gonna get to bed, I'll see you in the morning. Wednesday and our wonderful selves and our strength 
and then we are going to move on to a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a core. It's not going to be a hard core session, don't worry, but you can take it your pace. Really focus on opening this front line. For those of you that want to, you're going to tuck your back toes, you're going to stabilise through that left leg and squeeze your right bottom to lift that back knee. Now lift the left leg and just drive it forward a little bit so your right hip is now over your right knee. And you're going to reach your right arm up and over. So good. So every time you lift, don't just lift. Be really super mindful with your movement. Point your toes. I want you to point your toes so much that you start to feel like you're getting cramped in the bottom of your foot and your calf. And we are going to stretch that left glute by bringing your left heel over your right knee. Good morning, my darlings. It's now Friday morning. So as you'll have just seen, today started with a Pilates session and what a treat. It was actually Chloe that came to do the Pilates and we also had, um, she's got these crystal bowls that we did sound healing with as well, as well as some meditation. So it was just an amazing start to the day. So again, we've got some really fun things going on today here at Time. I think the plan now, we're heading and meeting downstairs and I believe we've got some kind of a botanical painting masterclass and then it's actually a really nice day for once so I think we're gonna head out for a walk which is perfect and then we've got lunch at the Swan which is in Southwark Village and it's kind of owned by the same family as Time so it's part of the Time family so a quick outfit of the day I'm actually full Holland Cooper today, uh, so this is the new three quarter, not even three quarter, one quarter, half little zip top. I just love it, I just love the slim cable knit and my um, special, what do you call it, jodhpur style trousers. I'm not planning on wearing these shoes obviously for long today, I just needed something to slip on because my boots I was wearing yesterday that I've packed up over there, I really struggled to get them off yesterday and they're new so I don't want to be going for a walk in them. Luckily I've got some Holland Cooper boots in the car so I'll just slip into those for the dog walk. I also brought with me my blazer which I'm just loving, um, loving wearing this at the moment. I've not styled it with this outfit before so let's see. Yay, I love it. It looks great with the half zip top. Um, it's kind of like casual, but then smart layer over the top. So this is what I'm gonna wear for the morning. And then yeah, I'll grab my boots for our little walk. It is actually nice and sunny and I think I'll need something to hold my hair back when we're painting. I'm very sad to be leaving this beautiful room. It's just, it's inspired me so much for the attic rooms in our house and um, straw top as well. So I'll definitely be considering some really bold, vivid um, floral wallpaper. Absolutely love it. And all the colors in here as well. So I'm gonna bid farewell to my beautiful room, but let's head downstairs and do some painting. little watercolour paintings of these tomatoes. We've also got radishes. One of the beautiful examples was this gorgeous shallot. So step one, we're doing an outline. Don't laugh at me, I've never been very good at art. Um, but next we're gonna add some paint. So let's see how it goes. my watercolour tomato. I learned a lot about keeping some areas white based on where the light is coming in just from looking. I mean spot the difference. <laughs> Not bad for a first attempt and it's just been the most therapeutic hour and I will definitely be trying it again. What are you looking at? 
taken a little stroll and we've come to the thyme kitchen garden. It's a very sleepy time of year for kitchen gardens so everything is just in its um, in its winter phase. They have got some giant spinach or it could even be a kind of chard growing down here and then some kale over there which is coming to the end of its picking season as well. They've got some sheets down preparing the soil for the probably for courgettes I think. They'll use those areas for a little bit of chard but within a couple of weeks this will be full of little seedlings so we'll have to come back and see once they've started growing. Okay, we just got back from our walk and I just wanted to bring Donna in because we were having the best chat a second ago about supplements and nutrition and real food versus um, getting it in a sachet and you were about yes. to give me a mind-blowing education about What were we talking curcumin about? You were telling curcumin. Me. And I said hold that thought because I want to remember it and put it on the channel. Well, I was telling Josie about the supplements that I currently take and I will say, just with supplements, they are, first and foremost, you need to get your nutrition from food. Yeah. That's it. But there are a lot that we can't get from food, our soil depletion, um, what else? You know, you've got personal things going on. It could be a hormone driven, it could be anything. So the supplements that I take are purely for me at the moment. Mm -hmm. So we were going through my little you Tupperware little part. Tupperware. So we're away at the moment. And when I come away, I don't bring all of them because a lot goes in my smoothie. Yeah. But all the kind of extra things I bring with me. So you really inspired my smoothie. So my smoothie jars that I've been making on the channel, that was so inspired by your post that you did Thank you. and um was it you that said like um well a lot of people have been posting like they make freezer cubes of their smoothies yes so That's a lot of people enjoy. worry about fiber yeah so i juice i get a lot of stick about juicing you know losing the fiber and everything but there is absolutely nothing wrong with juicing mm -hmm. i don't believe that at all because uh -huh. you can only be good for you you're yeah. juicing good food yeah. and then but if you're worried about the fiber take all the bits that come out the other end of the juicer mm -hmm. and pack it into one of those silicone ice trays yeah and oh, then and you and then you can take that and put it in your smoothie That's a really so good I'm idea. a celery juicer I'm a medical medium lover whatever people think about him I believe in it and oh, sometimes well this medical medium so medical medium is a guy that kind of championed the celery juice movement oh right okay and I found him over two years ago, yeah. and I just thought, this is, I'm gonna do this. I, I started a sugar-free anti-inflammatory lifestyle two years ago now, and at that time, I started taking uh, drinking celery juice every morning. Yeah. And a lot of people are a bit like, oh, he's full of crap, and you know, what is he talking about? But I believe in it. You Sometimes wellness is a placebo to thing too. Totally. If it, totally. if it makes you feel good, and I'm still celery juicing now, yeah. I love it. But a lot of people say when you celery juice you're losing the fiber because it is a very fibrous vegetable mm. so i just freeze it and sometimes put it in my smoothie Amazing. it's very simple oh my God. but yes back to my supplements yeah your curcumin so i take turmeric at the moment i'm suffering with what i think is frozen shoulder mm. so um i've got inflammation in my right hand side of my arm and shoulder so turmeric is a very anti-inflammatory spice mm. um use it in cooking put it in your smoothies whatever um, and during the day in these little capsules i will actually break those into my smoothie because oh. I don't love swallowing a tablet so right, much. Right, okay. But whilst I'm away, obviously I just take them and I take a curcumin, which is actually the extract of the turmeric, which is the most potent when it comes to like being okay. anti-inflammatory. And is turmeric one of those things that needs pepper with it? Well, that's when you do like a ginger turmeric shot, you okay. can put things with them to kind of boost Activate. their effects. Okay. A little bit like when you put vitamin C on your face, yeah. it, it works, it's brightening, it's collagen boosting, but when you work where it alongside your SPF, mm -hmm. it boosts your SPF power. I didn't know that. Yeah, so Even it's like there little... in between. Yeah. Huh. Side notes. I learned There's always so side much notes from this things. lady. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I did already mention that your first YouTube video. Yes, it did go live so last good. night. Thank so you good. Thank you. I'm gonna leave it down below, and everyone has to go and check it out. And if you have been enjoying the like more kind of wholesome stuff that I'm sharing, like the wild swimming and the yes. and the supplements and nutrition, then. That's what you're going to be sharing. That's my life. So but Josie life. also inspires me that I live by the sea in Brighton. That's where I was born. But I have this deep desire to come live in the Cotswolds.
worlds mm. because it's just a haven of wellness and I think that they just go hand in hand. Yeah. So I have a goal sheet and the Cotswolds is on it. It's at the top. It's at the top. Let's you're manifest. You're going to be here this time in two it. years. You're going to be like, oh, I'm just down the road. Let's go for coffee. Let's go for a plunge Fingers together. <laughs> it's going to happen. Let's but, hope so. Yeah. Um, and back to my pot. My <laughs> other thing <laughs> I that I bring it. with me and that I take is beef organs. So in this is liver, heart, kidney of grass-fed organic beef, mm -hmm. cows. Um, and I am transitioning from eating, uh, being a pescatarian for five and a half years, back to meat. Mm -hmm. um, and the organs are where the nutrients are at. Mm -hmm. So whilst I do that, and before I start actually eating the meat, I'm just currently taking these. These are from Ape Nutrition. Ape Nutrition. Please check out Ape Nutrition. They are just so on it with um, transparency, quality, they mm. do collagen, peptide, collagen peptides, okay. lots of beef organs mm -hmm. and colostrum. Don't get me started about colostrum, we'll do that, we'll do that another day, we'll do That's that another round day. Two. Um, and then what else do I bring with me? Electrolytes. Yeah. This Not is... the ancient and brave one? No, this is... So before we all say goodbye, we are having a team lunch at the Swan, which is just across the road. Perfect timing after our lovely walk. Let's see what we've got for lunch. Okay, my darlings, we are homeward bound after a lovely lunch at the Swan. I couldn't film much of it because I was trying to charge my camera battery. Um, so it was just a lovely, lovely lunch. I've actually got a box of lamb that I'm taking home with me because quite honestly, it was just far too good to leave anything behind. It's been the most wonderful 24 hours, just over 24 hours with the Evelom team. We've been totally pampered and you know when you spend time with people that you just have so much in common with and that you really connect with, it really recharges you. So I definitely feel that I've spent time with such amazing, energizing people. Um, and it's gonna, it's like on The Sims, you know, when they had their little social like thermometer thing and it would go red and then they would spend time with people and then it would go green again. I feel like my social bar is fully green from the wonderful people that we spent time with and it's just made me love the brand even more being so immersed in everything that's so important to Yves Lom as a brand and I was just thinking I feel so proud of this beautiful area of the countryside that I feel so so lucky to live in when people from all over the world are, are coming there were guests from China guests from America um, and they were all saying just how magical this area is and how you just get this like magnetic draw to the Cotswolds. It's definitely got some kind of magic to it. And um, when I said, oh, I, I live here, they were like, what, you, you, you live this somewhere this perfect? It just made me feel really, really proud. And as I kept saying a million times to have so many wonderful people like Chloe doing the Pilates this morning, um, Kat was taking the photos for the event, obviously the whole Eve Long team. And they just, they just thought of everything right down to the fact that holy, Slow down, mate. Honestly, some people drive at 100 miles an hour through these country lanes. It is just not a good idea. Um, yes, the whole Yves Long team I just thought of every single little detail to make this the perfect trip. So I'm feeling very content, very, very happy. And it's a beautiful day, <laughs> which always makes me, um, puts me in an exceptional mood. So on my route home is the Burford Garden Company and I just can't resist a little sneak in. I need to look for something for Lilla, for a little Mother's Day gift. And it's just always wonderful to look around garden centers at this time of year. I will try my hardest not to go wild in the seed section, um, but I've brought you to Burford before, so I think you guys know just how amazing it is that it's very easy to just go wild with um, buying things for seed sowing and for gardening, but I will try and practice a little bit of self-restraint. But anyway, I don't want to waste my battery chatting to you in the car, so I will see you when we get to Burford. So this is the homeware section at the front and they always have the loveliest things for beautiful tablescapes. I love the scalloped edge on here and this beautiful little tray. Imagine taking your cups of tea and a slice of cake down for a little break when you're gardening. It's so pretty.
film clips like this that I appreciate how boring this must look to non-gardeners. But to those of you that love sowing seeds and gardening like I do, this is just absolute heaven. <laughs> so many different growing mediums. The choices are endless. And it's getting me very excited. Claverton cloche. Pots are plenty. You guys know me well enough to know that this is my weakness. Unusual seeds for things that you can't buy in shops. So for example, purple carrots and these really beautiful coloured French beans. Oh my goodness. Stunning. This is just so fun. It's like a pick and mix station, but for runner beans and peas. Oh, absolute heaven. We are well and truly in the danger zone. Look at all of these different varieties. Oh my goodness, someone is gonna have to pull me away. So this is another rather dangerous section. This is the produce area um, where they've got everything from cupboard essentials and spices, things that you wouldn't normally see. I've never seen liquid thyme. They've got liquid garlic, liquid ginger, liquid basil, and all of these incredible spices. Then they've got lots of like artisan foods um, from all over the world, from Italy, from Spain. Let's go and have a little look. Rosé balsamico, that sounds amazing. I mean, look at this, the pesto and the pasta displayed in a stone water fountain. I just think it's fabulous. I just couotn't love it here anymore. If you come to the Cotswolds, this has to be on your agenda. And then, of course, the beautiful outside area where you can get your plants for the garden. These are rather beautiful, scabious. So many herbaceous plants and slightly more unusual ones as well. They literally have everything. I've graduated from a shopping basket to a shopping trolley. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean I'm going to go wild. I just wanted to be a little bit more hands-free. <laughs> They've got such a beautiful selection of hellebores. There's this beautiful coloured kind of raspberry, raspberry ripple hellebore, I'm going to call it, around here. Um, but it just seems a bit of a shame because it's coming to the end of hellebore season, but then this one does have so many beautiful buds in it. Maybe I'll treat myself just to this one, seeing as it looks like quite a young plant. We might get some blooms out of that. I mentioned in a previous vlog that these are literally like gold dust. They are so useful for greenhouses and having pots indoors so I'm definitely stocking up on a few of these. They basically catch the water underneath your plant pots so you don't ruin your surfaces. A lovely gift idea they are seed sets with different themes so there's a digestive tea garden herbal infusions if you like your teas peace garden first aid garden just such a nice idea i did grab one of these copper watering cans and thought i might treat myself um but then i saw the price tag and i thought maybe not yikes Okay, mischief well and truly managed at Burford Garden Company. I think I was fairly self-restrained. Um, maybe bought 20 packets of seeds, but <laughs> for me, that's not that bad. I think I bought nearly double that last time. Um, and some really beautiful little potted plants. And the plan is, remember last time when I did the DIY bulbs um, and put them in the terracotta pots with the moss around the edge? I'm gonna do like a mega version of that with loads of different already flowering things and some muscari bulbs and then pad around the edges with moss again. And um, for me, it's Friday and this Mother's Day is Sunday. I think that's gonna be my DIY gift for Lilla for Mother's Day. So I will enjoy doing that either tonight if it stays lovely or um, maybe even tomorrow. 
but it was just a really beautiful, um, you're welcome, a really beautiful experience looking around Burford Garden Company. They literally have got everything there, so many different bulbs, they've got um, seed potatoes, you're welcome. Um, they've got garlic, they've got onion, they've got dahlia tubers, they have got everything and it's really funny what they what they classify as like the manly gardening section because in the like menswear section where they've got the, the wellies and the jackets and the knitwear for men, they put all the like big spades and big forks and all the hose pipes and that's obviously like what the men love and then um, next to the ladies wear it's all of the pretty delicate seed sewing things. I got some really cool... Um, well, I think it's really cool. Courgette varieties, which are gonna be so fun. There's one which is like a zucchinero, which looks like the kind of crown pumpkin, but it's a teeny weeny version. So I can't wait to grow that this year. Um, this view that I'm looking at right now is so beautiful and iconic of Burford High Street. If I stop in the traffic in a second, I will um, spin you around to show you because it's just so beautiful. And I made so many friends in the garden centre. I think everyone there was just like having a slow Friday, sunny pre-weekend afternoon amble. Um, and everyone was coming up to my trolley and being like, oh, you've got, you've got a busy weekend ahead of you. Or, oh, what a lovely selection you've got. And everyone's just in a great mood because it's such a gorgeous day. Like it feels, it feels like spring is finally here. Anyway, I'm doing that thing where, um, I'm just chatting away because quite frankly I've got nothing better to do because I'm stuck in traffic so I'll save you my boring ramble. Um, I will show you this beautiful view of Burford High Street when I get a chance um, and I'll see you when we get home. my Burford Garden Company haul. I thought I would very quickly show you what I picked up. So I showed you already the um, seed collections, which are four. I chose the herbal tea and the digestive tea. Thought it'd be quite fun to grow my own herbs for tea in particular. Um, and then we have got, this is the fantastic zucchino custard white that I was mentioning in the car. I think that'll be lots of fun. And then this is a little trio set with three different types, types of courgette. From um, Thompson and Morgan, I got a really nice dark carrot, then a lovely radish, which has got a light outer and then this really wonderful deep purple inner and a really colorful selection of chards. Then we've got, um, what's this one? A really lovely deep purple kale. By the way, my hand is not quite as orange in real life as it is on camera, but this is the worst fake tan I've done in quite some time, so forgive me. A really fun kind of frilly leaf coriander. This was a fantastic purple pod pea. Um, and another purple carrot. Then we've got a fiery salad leaf mix, a type of chickpea. I'm intrigued to, um, to try growing this. I need to do some research on it. A bolotto bean, which is really fantastic purple marble kind of bean. Huge amount of microgreen seeds because I did find that the ones which were specifically microgreen seeds, they did just perform better. Then I got um, a few of these little saucers and also some, somewhere there's some terracotta ones, at least I hope there is somewhere. I think Charlie bought them in for me. 
This little lid means that I will be able to keep this seed growing station nice and humid, which is great for things like aubergines and tomatoes. These little fiber pots, they're very sustainable. They just biodegrade, so great for sowing things like early, early courgettes and beans and peas and even tomatoes. And then flower-wise, I picked up some muscari, a selection of ranunculus, these are quite old-fashioned little prims, um, but I just thought they were very sweet colours. This is going to look great when it flowers, an aubrecia, um, a campanula, which I love, more beautiful raspberry ripple ranunculus, and then this beautiful trailing finca which I think is gorgeous. I think uh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> so there we go. That is my Burford Garden Company haul. My rainbow chart that I planted a few weeks ago is um, sprouting well. You can already see what colors are going to be. I've got a deep, rich purple. We've got a yellow. We've got a lighter purple. Oh gosh, I could literally just pull that out if I wanted to. My pea microgreens are doing exceptionally well. The kale, kaolette is quite happy after it's been moved. No sign of life in my sweet peas in the heart yet, but it is quite chilly in here still. Um, the sweet peas that I did earlier are doing exceptionally well, as are my broad beans in the loo roll tubes. Yeah, it's going well. Charlie's actually had a little bit of a tie dip in here because I think he did some shooting in here with Jake, which I will um, be very grateful for, of course. He's created a little bit of a, a tidy up. Um, and more seedlings over here more anemones. It's all looking eager is the word I'm going to use. It's all like on the edge of getting exciting. We've got a beautiful anemone here. Look at that gorgeous purple one that's come through already. Pink one here. Yeah, it's all looking really lovely. Whereas I am looking a little bit um, windswept, let's say, but I feel like this has been quite a long vlog. Lots of lots of different places and lots of um, lots of activities. So <laughs> I'm going to leave you here. I think my darlings. I'm going to have a very chilled Friday evening with Charlie. So I'm going to wrap up. I think we're going to have a nice pasta dinner. I did also bring some lamb back with me from. Um, the restaurant because we didn't finish it at the swan at lunch and i did not want it to go to waste so i'll have that with some pasta later on so my darlings i really hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you so much for coming along with me for a wonderful trip to time with Eve Lom. and don't forget about that discount code because it's the perfect way to get a little bit of a discount on those incredible Eve Lom products so i'll leave all the information for that and the product links down below and darlings that's all from me i'll see you